The cyclotron that we've put into the Balmoral is designed to produce a very specific medical isotope that is used in about uh, 250,000 medical examinations a year uh, in Alberta. We believe that this is the best opportunity we have to replace the current way in which these medical isotopes are made. The operator's room is really a fairly sophisticated computer which has the controlling software for operating the cyclotron. It can switch it on and off. Um, it can start the particles accelerating around the cyclotron. It can switch those particles into one of the four target stations that we have. And it can also stop that um, irradiation of the targets, extract the targets from the cyclotron, and deliver them to the processing facility. It uses a considerable amount of power and each of these banks um, of power supply units that you can see uh, is operating a specific part of the cyclotron. In addition, uh, it generates a lot of heat as it's irradiating the targets and so it's very important that we have appropriate cooling system. And one of the functions of the control room is obviously to monitor each of these power units to make sure that there is safe supply and consistent supply. Uh, there is obviously radioactivity associated with this. The vault for the cyclotron has been very specifically designed to ensure that there is no risk to the operators or anybody in or near the building um, from this radiation. So it's all confined in the vault. The door itself is obviously part of this uh, vault shielding requirement. You can see it's very thick and it's also set on an angle to the rest of the building. And this is to ensure that, again, that safety and the integrity of that safety mechanism is maintained. As you walk into the vault, um, you can see the cyclotron itself. It's a series of magnets and vacuums and electronics, all of which are designed to ensure that the charged particles that the cyclotron is accelerating uh, remain within the appropriate circle. Um, on either side of the cyclotron, you can see that there is a, it's called a beam line. As we're operating the cyclotron, the charged particles are moved into this beam line, and then they can move to one of the two target stations uh, that is at either end. These two target stations um, enable us to create quite different medical isotopes. This large target station um, is called a solid target, and this is what we use to make technetium 99M, which is the medical isotope that we have to replace from the reactor supply. So when the target has been irradiated and we've created the technetium 99M, it remains in a solid form on the back of the target. So the first task is to move the target from the cyclotron uh, into the processing unit. A shielded cell, again, to maintain the safety uh, and the integrity of the radiation protection. Within this cell, the technetium that is still stuck in solid form to the target is dissolved and is put into uh, a solution that can then be taken to the next stage of processing, uh, which is where we make the technetium available uh, for clinical use.